Hello everyone. So, as you can probably tell, these torches, not for lighting. <coughs> yeah. So our redstone torches, which is the source of our tutorial for today. Hooray! So this is basically a basic redstone tutorial. This is just showing what it is and how you can use it. Doesn't go into detail that much. But I hope to do that at some point. So for now, let's get going. Wow, that was a fail. And again. There we go. <laughs> so as you know, these are the most common things for redstone. So redstone ore, where you get redstone from. When you break it, you get a few redstone dust, which can be placed on the ground like that. And it's basically electricity, as in off state and non state. So, redstone can be powered or change the state by a lever, which creates a continuous state as long as the lever is down. A redstone torch, which uh, pow provides continuous power. There is a detector rail, which provides power only when. It's actually a minecart's on it. Uh, there's a stone pressure plate, which when you or a mob stands on it, it is activated. There's a wooden pressure plate, which does the same thing, except it also works with a item being dropped on it. And there's a button, which will provide a short burst of power. And also, as of 1.3, there's a trip. Ah, there's a tripwire, which as long as you're standing in it, it's active. Or if you have an uh, item in it, it's active. So redstone can be used to power a lot of things, like a piston. Uh, redstone lamps can turn off a redstone torch or activate a note block can activate booster rails, dispensers, doors, and of course TNT, which I'm not going to show because that would be destructive. <laughs> so now for basically some of the first rules of redstone. So redstone will be activated as long as it is only 15 blocks. So that first door is opening, if I come over here. Now, I replace the door which is 15 blocks away with redstone to try powering this block. Well, this door 16 blocks away, it will not activate. As you can see, the line gets steadily uh, lower, darker until it's just not powered. So, there's some workarounds to that. Of course, there's an old fashioned inverter. Which is basically a redstone torch. The block that's on is being powered, which turns the torch off. So once it stops being powered, it activates. All these doors are 16 blocks away right now, so that works to extend the signal. There's also a repeater, which will extend the signal as well as delay. Although the delay isn't as noticeable here. So, uh, so that works to extend the signal as well. Uh, this is going to show you sort of the delay of a redstone repeater. You can set up to four ticks each, it's automatically on one, like this one here. And each tick is about one tenth of a second. So this is one, two, three, four, so 16 ticks, so about a second and a half. So there you go. Now we're going to come over here to see this. Uh, ba -ba -ba. A redstone signal can be carried up a block like that. So you can come all the way up here and up here just fine. But it can only go up one block. So if I leave that there, can't place it on a wall or anything. 
so this one's just not going to get powered. So that's one thing you have to know. And it, another thing is redstone signal can't be uh, brought through a block uh, if a solid block is blocking the way. So if I remove this, it'll go up fine. If I place that back, however, this one isn't going to get lit. Now again, there's other things to this, like most blocks are solid blocks. However, so a signal can pass through it. See, that's getting carried just fine. Glowstone glass are non-solid blocks, so a redstone signal can't pass through it. So, not with this block, you activate all the redstone behind it. This one, not going to activate. This makes it somewhat use. This makes uh, glowstone somewhat useful. Now you can do a tower like that with it. So if I activate this bottom lever here, all this is activated. Because it can travel up through the glowstone here. Because it's not a solid block. However, if I activate this lever up here, that one's not going to get activated because you can't bring the redstone signal down through glowstone blocks like this. Uh, I believe the last thing I wanted to show you was that repeaters can't be uh, can't accept a signal uh, from any other direction than the back end. So the large part of the arrow is the back. So I'll accept the signal from here, not from here. So yeah, uh, hopefully I will get into more detail later, but for now, that's where we're going to leave this. I definitely will make some more of these very shortly, hopefully. <laughs> so, we'll work on that later. So, hope you learned something if you're completely new to Redstone. If you aren't, then hopefully you'll stick with me because I will be trying to teach you some stuff that maybe you don't know. So, there you go. Goodbye.